this Tampa Tech, and I'll show you how to wall mount your TV on the wall using this universal wall mount slash TV stand. I got it at shopjimmy.com. The reason why I got it there is because I got this free broken TV that did not have a TV stand and it did not come with a wall mount. So I needed to put it on something. I wanted to wall mount it on my garage wall so I, you know, save space. And I also, when anytime I want to move the TV, I wanted a TV stand for it. So Shop Jimmy sells a combo unit, and I'll leave a link below this video if you're interested in where to get it. It comes with the base, and it comes with the wall mount that you put on the wall. So I'm gonna show you how to install all this stuff right now. And I'll show you all the tips and tricks there is to know about installing a TV on the wall. And I'm a TV installer for a living and a TV repairman at night. So this is a uh, broken TV. I'm going to show you my next video, how to fix a Sony TV with no power. So stay tuned for that video. So first thing you're going to need is a magnetic stud finder. So we have to find the studs in the wall. If you can't find the studs in the wall, you're going to have to use drywall anchors. So let's first find the studs in the wall. Every 16 inches, there should be studs. Sometimes it's 24 inches, but usually most of the time it's 16 inch space studs. So let's take your magnetic stud finder. And there it is, there's your stud. Uh, basically, the magnetic stud finder finds the drywall nail that's driven into um, the stud. So let's go ahead and mark that with using a pencil. And you wanna use a pencil in case you wanna erase it. And then every 16 inches, so let's measure 16 inches. All right, so 16 inches should be right about here. So let's find out if it's 16 or 24 inch space studs. And then there it is, 16 space studs. So let's go ahead and mark that. Is find out what anchors you're going to use. So if you can't find the studs in the wall, I'm going to show you different things you could do. Now, if you're mounting it to concrete, I suggest getting a Tapcon kit. These are pretty good. They're rated. It'll hold over 100 pounds each screw. So you got to pilot the hole using this first, and then you just screw it in using this and a washer. These Tapcon. If you're going into drywall, things to avoid. Now you go into drywall, you want to avoid plastic anchors, drywall anchors. The plastic are not good. All right here. So don't use the plastic drywall anchors. What you want to use is metal drywall anchors, like this one. This is rated for 50 pounds, and you just basically screw it right into the drywall, and then you put the screw in that hole. But I really highly recommend using the 150 pound uh, snap toggle bolts made by Togglers. We're going to be using a 1 8 wood drill bit to pilot the hole in the stud and we're going to use what it comes with, the screws, the wood screws. And that's what that looks like. And you're going to need a 1 inch socket. So you're going to need a half inch socket. Make sure it fits just like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and put on the back. So next thing, this comes with the TV brackets that you put in the back of the TV. You want to make sure you've got the right screws. These come with the mount, by the way. So just go ahead and test it out. And if it fits, those are the screws you want to use, basically. So this, this one fits. So we're going to use, be using these. And just go ahead and put it on the washer like that. And put it right in here. Now, if it's too loose, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do to make it fit. So let's go ahead and screw it in. All right, so right here, it's too loose. All right, you don't want to over tighten it because you could break the back of the LCD panel. So right here, what you want to do is either use a spacer like this one, but if this is not big enough, what I suggest using is these drywall anchors and just cut it to size. So you could just snip it right here and cut it to size. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like that. So now you got your homemade spacer and you just cut it to size. So let's go ahead and use that. And you want to put it right in here and take that and that and that. And let's go ahead and screw it in.
Now let's go ahead and get a measurement from where the hooks are right here to the bottom of the TV. And it looks like it's about 12 inches, right about there. So right about here, it's about like 12 inches from where the hooks are. So when you mount it, you mount right there. So let's go ahead and measure 12 inches from here. So here and up is about 12 inches. So let's go ahead and mark that. That's the top of the bracket. Let's go ahead and take that and then mark that. Make sure it's a little level. Mark that right there. And let's go ahead and pilot the holes. So you can take your 1 8 wood drill bit do that. Next, you want to take your half inch socket and take your screw with the washer Make sure the bubble's in the middle. Boom! So the TV right here is going to be situated right here, right on these hooks. Let's go ahead and hang the TV on the wall, just like that. Now this is um, not really recommended, but you can do this if you wanted to. Put some good use out of this base. So to put some good use out of the base, which what I suggest doing is using these drywall anchors to mount the shelf. So you can use these spacers behind the neck. Is I got uh, my Logitech Google TV box. I'll just sit it right on here. Now I go ahead and hit TV power right here. Turns on my TV. And my Google TV makes my regular TV into a smart TV. So now I can go on YouTube and Amazon, Netflix, all that cool stuff, and go to Google Chrome and just search anything I want to search. And this is my mouse pad. Thanks for watching. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment, subscribe to Tampa Tech, and check out my other YouTube videos on how to fix TVs and uh, wall mount TVs and hook up surround sound.